Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and day two, <laughs> and my New Year's resolutions are holding strong. So my main New Year's resolution was just to cook food instead of just always ordering Instacart and Grubhub and just getting a bunch of, you know, drive through food. And oh my gosh, YouTube is saving my life. I didn't know you put the butter on the outside of the grilled cheese sandwich. I thought you put it on the inside. When you put it on the, the top and the bottom of the, oh my gosh. Grilled cheese, a good omelet. I just said French toast. The French toast, for some reason the French toast, the egg, you know, the egg mixture that soaks into the bread. When I was searing it in the pan, like the egg leached out and formed a little like mini omelets on the top. So how do you get the egg to not just leach out and start becoming its own little entity? Anyway, I'm going to have a lot of questions about cooking. Uh, so um, uh, I, sort of, I noticed something strange. Um, usually, you know, whatever people are talking about, whatever is in the news is something that just happened. That's pretty much the definition of news. Um, but twice in the last week, the, the thing that everyone's talking about is like, do you, did you just hear about the thing that happened the last issue in Harley Quinn? I'm like, that, that came out like a month ago. Did anyone, no one notice until right now? And now they're like, uh, I saw a thread where they're talking about the uh, Philip Kennedy Johnson Superman. And people are saying like, you, you, you ruined Superman, Superman got raped. And then they're like, okay, first of all, that happened in an Elseworld story. By the way, editors, <laughs> you can say no to ideas. I mean, you say no to anyone who doesn't vote the same as you, so I know you understand the word. Like, when someone says, like, hey, I want to do a story where Superman's getting raped uh, by Russians, and then he finds them, but he doesn't arrest them or, or punch them or, because he, he, he cares about fairness. Okay. So I was trying to find uh, the uh, Superman gets raped story, uh, and uh, that's the ultimate you know, form of kryptonite right there. And uh, then I find this, and I was just like, Jesus Christ. So we all know the deal. All these tricks are very, very old tricks. You start talking about Comicsgate, you impugn, I mean, I can, as far as I can tell, there's like four different factions. <laughs> so if you were to, you know, everyone who has like a positive view of Comicsgate, well, I'd, you know, I'd probably say that number is... What Ethan can, what does Ethan sell? Like 10,000? So let's say 10,000. So let's go ahead and insult 10,000 people to get attention. Oh, holy shit. Three people responded out of pocket. Okay, let's broad brush roll. It's the same thing. So they do these ridiculous, like after school special slash a very special episode of Different Strokes where they do this like goo goo gaga stuff where it's like a Superman anthology. And you know how Superman opens his shirt and uh, shows his Superman symbol? Well, what if it's a game? Like, bruh. <laughs> what are you doing? It's the same stupid shit. And I, I actually remember this getting, uh, seeing this promoted somewhere a few months ago. And then I'm doing a video on it right now. <laughs> but it's not like, oh, I'm so offended. Or, oh, no, gay people. You're just like, bro. <laughs> Like, how do I say this? In the military, in the Marines, you know, you do different training and you get different uh, weapons and munitions, explosives and stuff like this. And I remember one time we were in Victorville and we didn't usually get smoke grenades. In fact, I went into the Marines, it was before 9-11. The budget was really low on everything. Like we didn't have a budget for blanks. We would go three days in the field and literally shoot at each other and say, bang, bang, bang. It's freaking ridiculous. But Victorville, Victorville was, you know, there was more budget for that. So we got things we never got, like we got smoke grenades. Oh my gosh. Yeah, smoke canister, technically. Um, and uh, so, but we, it was like one per squad. <laughs> so I remember this guy, we were doing this uh, Mount military op operations and urban terrain. And it was pretty legit. We had freaking uh, tanks, um, uh, real tanks, 
It wasn't like someone on a bicycle saying, I'm a tank and making tank sounds. It was an actual tank. And uh, if just, you know, FYI, if there's ever a tank in your street, don't run right behind it because the exhaust comes out really, really hot and it smells like pumpkins for some reason. Uh, but anyway, um, <laughs> one guy had a smoke canister. And man, every situation, every situation, he was like, I know what to do. <laughs> and we'd be like, stop. No, the freaking smoke canister, first of all, that's colored smoke. So it's for freaking calling and freaking Hilo to extract you or, you know, occasionally to mark a target. But that's like stuff they did in like World War II. Like we mark target buildings in different ways now. But it's like, DC, I swear to God, they literally like just discovered that gay people exist. And also that in current year, it's very, very positive you know, uh, to talk about gay people. So, like, every story is like Superman. I, he's... He, dude, there's so many gay people in the DC universe. <laughs> there's no future. This is the final crisis. There's nobody straight left. I was listening to this video where uh, uh, Perch, you can tell he still cares. He's talking about, he's like, uh, uh, for some reason, I almost did did that Kelly Sue DeConnick voice. He's like, well, you know, for better behavior, we just need to, uh, you know, uh, get the employees to act better because we can't tell the contractors what to do. And then he mentions that for a, a completely, you know, how do I say this? Non-controversial reporting of just what happened, that they didn't have any Luke Cage content for his, what, 40th anniversary? Uh, 30th? No, it wouldn't be 30th. 40? No, 50th? Probably in the 40s. They had no content. They had some, and then they canceled it. And this editor at Marvel called Perch. Hateful. Like, it literally does feel, and I've, and I've brought this up before, it feels like the industry has a, a brain injury or like a stroke or something like that, which is a brain injury. Like, all Marvel can do is just call people bigots. Like in any, like, I want to emphasize, Perch, I, I listened to that video while I was packing stuff. He basically just read the news and basically said, like, that's bullshit. And they called him hateful, you know? And so you have Marvel with one trick. Let's call everyone hateful in any situation. Vita is basically relying on that, like, twice a week now. And DC... It's just like, gays, you're just that smoke canister. Like, they're like, what do we do in this story? How about a gay does what? They're gay. And then they, they, they have a, the, that gay thing. It's on their shirt. And everyone, like I saw this Rich Johnston. He's like, uh, strange things are afoot at the Circle K. I reported that there was going to be three bisexual DC characters in one book. And now it's two bisexual uh characters and uh oh god i forgot what is bruce's damien and he's like but it was supposed to be tim drake and it's like oh god the the gay percentage of this dc comic plummeted down to 66 <laughs> percent but also like it's nothing and then he has this line he's like but still it was a good story where damien accepted him it's like that's not a story it's literally the only thing you're allowed to do without having your life destroyed. Like, I saw that, this is, this is turning into one of those grab bag uh, topics of videos. I saw uh, Patton Oswalt totally throwing Dave Chappelle under the bus because they took a picture and all of these SJWs are attacking him. He's like, hey, Dave Chappelle has been my friend for 36 years. And we, uh, we have a lot in common. We just don't agree on trans uh, issues like I think trans are people and you're like bro you just totally threw <laughs> oh my god like it's not enough to just leave trans people alone or be respectful of them you have to actively be terrified of them uh, and this is just I mean how do you throw your friend of 36 years under the bus I even saw this JK Rowling thing where they had this Harry Potter reunion and she wasn't invited of course but then it's weird to not have her on there so they showed clips of her talking about Harry Potter. And then they weirdly put, like, recorded in 2019. It's like, we didn't know she was that garbage person. 
back then. It's like, well, you know, na- like, you know that quote, know that now. So why is it okay? It's just like these ridiculous, everything is, okay, so here's my thesis. Everyone's dumb. <laughs> I did this video like a month or so ago. And uh, it, it was funny for a couple of reasons. Um, uh, basically, I, I talked to, you know, somebody who had, you know, interacted with Vita, you know, told me this situation. And then I made the video and they're like, um, I wasn't trying to say that she was retarded. But then another person said, that's how she comes off. So, so the, the conversation became, what's the difference between being retarded and acting retarded? It's, it's the same thing. By the way, I know some people are like, oh, you can't say that. That's, that's still the term. I couldn't believe it either. I literally was reading medical journals from, you know, last year, and they still, hey, that, hey. hey, even I agree. I'm surprised we still say that, but that's the word. And it's just like, it feels like the entire industry got some, you know, uh, traumatic brain injury, and they're, they have the same, you know, symptoms. It's just they, they all say slightly different things. Marvel just calls everything a bigot. They would call Liver King a bigot. He's a primal. He's not a bigot. Um, that guy who calls everyone colonizer, he actually probably is a bigot. Um, but so Marvel just calls everyone hateful, bigots. DC, literally, they're just like, this is how they are. They're like, gay? Bro, what are you doing? No, I'm trying to install a freaking air filter. Should we get a gay guy to install it? Or, or uh, man, wait, is, is there a... It's gay? Gay? Stupid. <laughs> like, everything's just dumb, and it, it becomes a question of what's worse, being retarded or not being retarded, but acting retarded? Like, this many people in the industry can't be this dumb. They can't be this simple-minded. I think the unifying thing is just fear. Patton Oswalt was terrified by his, quote, fans. They were going to call him a bigot. So he defended Dave by completely throwing him under the bus. Uh, Marvel has decided that you can call anyone a hateful bigot for anything because it's better than admitting you you know, you're, have substandard product, admitting you are underperforming, changing or improving in any way. DC's more like a dumb puppy dog who just knows one trick and just always wants to show us like, gays, uh, gay, gay. Uh, it's not funny. It's not fun. I wouldn't really even call it woke. It's more just cringe and dumb and just boring. And I kind of felt bad for Perch. Like he still cares. I don't give a fuck. I'm just stalling because I'm waiting for Instacart to get here. I, I know I said I was going to cook so I didn't have to order stuff from Grubhub. But I still need ingredients. I mean, come on. So anyway, if, if you got recommend, I, somebody gave me a recommendation for a YouTube channel for cooking, but then I forgot to save it. So I'm looking for like, I wish there was almost like a, um, this would be my dream, a channel where they start like really easy. Like here's how to heat up soup. And then every one they just progress a little bit more difficult. So it's, you know, hey, you did the omelet. Now we're doing the grilled cheese. Now we're doing the French toast. Okay, each one of these has like three steps, but let's bump it up a little bit more. So that's, that would be something fun to do uh, over the next uh, year. But um, as always, <laughs> wait, did I even mention anyone? Oh, no, the funny thing is that somebody was bringing up that Harley Quinn. Uh, it's Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn, Eat, Bang, Kill. It's an out of continuity uh, animated universe comic. And they went to the creator's uh, Twitter and they're like, holy shit, this person's a lunatic. I go, but out of all the diversity hires, they're actually the most talented. I mean, it's like mediocre, middle of the road work, but the work isn't crazy. I think this is the rare occasion where someone is uh, just diverse enough to get hired, but just crazy enough to get no promotion at all. So I'm not saying the book is good, but it's, it's solid. If you, if you hand it to someone and you didn't know the behavior of the, the writer, you wouldn't just be like, oh my gosh, you'd be like, it's, it's okay. It's just, it's kind of there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.